Hi everybody, this is Peter. Uh, today I'm going to be doing another one of my tutorial videos for Rinkside Hockey uh, from FTP Sports Games, and today we're going to be looking at breakouts. Okay, so what we have, uh, this is um, this is what, what happens after the uh, team in their own defensive zone gets a hold of the puck, whether it's just from a face-off or from uh, winning a loose puck battle or something like that. So the defensive team has the puck and they're going to try to break out. So the first thing you do is you look at the uh, the 100 number on the, the card. Uh, so this is, uh, you put these two together to get a number out of 100, and this is 37 in this instance. So you look at that. So if you get a number from 1 to 50, uh, it's going to, you're going to be doing a, a breakout procedure. And if you get a number from 51 to 100, you're going to be doing a forecheck procedure. So once you've um, got your 100 number, you flip your cards and then look down here in the bottom section of the forecheck thing. Um, this is really hard to read. So, so one complaint I have about the game is the, the colors that are used for this, uh, this scheme. So um, you, you usually decide at the beginning of the game or maybe at the beginning of a, a shift or something like that what the forechecking uh, strategy is going to be. It's usually forecheck two. You're setting in two forecheckers. So for a forecheck situation, you look on the right side under forecheck two, and that says uh, B out for breakout in that color. And then you would look at the position on the opposite card, left defense. So you're going to be looking at the left defense's breakout rating. So uh, that, in that case, it's uh, Ray Bork. And his breakout rating is actually 20. This is, this is a number out of 20. So he's automatically going to be successful at making the breakout. Um, Let's, okay, let's say Buffalo is uh, going to be breaking up the left defense, Zitnik. Um, so his breakout rating here is in the middle. It's 18. It's out of 20. So he's got a pretty good chance of, uh, of uh, being successful at breaking the puck out. So you would just flip over, check the, uh, the blue number on this side, because Buffalo is on this side, and 8 is within his breakout rating of 18, and so he successfully breaks out, and then you move on to a, a neutral zone situation. Now, if this blue number is a, a low number, um, you want to check it against uh, this uh, HM, which stands for headman. So if uh, that blue number was uh, 2, 1 or 2, then it would be... Uh, um, it would be a, he'd be a head manning the puck to a teammate up the ice. And in that case, uh, the team would get a rush transition. And I, I talk about rush transitions in another video. But that's, uh, that's how uh, that works. If, um, if the number, the blue number was above his breakout rating, then you would look at the, the same card where you res resolved the, uh, that play. And you'd get the same card and you would look at this bad break section and look at uh, this part here. In this case, it says exposed player, and I'll go and I'll go into the different uh, different scenarios for that. Uh, there's several different uh, scenarios that can happen. Um, okay, so say um, um, uh, you um, uh, let's go back to uh, the, the start, and uh, the defensive team has the puck, and they're going to break out. You look at the 100 number, and it's 90, which is above 50. So in that case, you have a four-check situation where you're going to be uh, checking against the, an offensive rating. So you would uh, flip the card here, and you would look on the left side, and under four-check two, if that's how many four-checkers you're using. And then this one says zone, zone regroup. And then the, the, the offensive player would be the right wing. And so um, for a zone regroup, it's actually, um, there's no... Uh, there's no offensive, uh, there's no pressure from the uh, the other team, so uh, the uh, defensive team just automatically gets, goes out to the neutral zone. And um, and then at, at that, uh, that becomes a neutral zone red situation, and I talk about neutral zone play in another video. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's the difference between the breakout and the forecheck. If you, if you get a breakout, um, if it's a number of 1 to 50, it's a breakout. You flip the card, you look under the, the right-hand side for the, the strategy and uh, the position, uh, the player who's going to be trying the breakout. And then, you've, then you resolve that play by looking at the D20 number on the next card, the blue number. Uh, if this number up here is uh, 51 to 100, it's a four-check. So you flip the card, you look on the left side for the four-check um, strategy, and uh, this uh, gives you the position of the, 
the uh, four checker. So I'll just go through the uh, the different uh, situations for um, uh, the breakout first. Um, so let's say uh, we determine that it's going to be a breakout. Uh, a breakout is the most common one, of course. Uh, stretch pass is um, uh, stretch pass is a uh, you know just a, a long pass to somebody uh, on the other side of the center line and near the opponent's blue line. So that's like a quick way to advance up the ice. So again, that's just um, checking uh, the um, say the right defense in this case. Um, you're checking. Um, that uh, that the blue number is within his breakout rating, simply, and if and if and if it is, then that's an automatic rush transition. It doesn't have to be in the head man rating. This is a stretch pass is a, a more aggressive um, uh, strategy. Get the puck up the ice quickly, and so that would automatically be a rush transition if the uh, if the blue number was within the defenseman's um, uh, uh, breakout rating. Um, Okay, another one you can have is uh, carry puck. Um, that's under four check one, but I just wanted to show what it looks like here. It says carry P for carry puck. And uh, again, that's just to check against the uh, the defenseman's uh, breakout rating. And if the, uh, if the number is uh, within his uh, head man rating as well, then that's an automatic rush transition. And uh, another thing that you could try um, is uh, what's called a Bobby Orr move. And uh, what you're going to do is look at the player's um, breakout rating and add their offensive rating. So say um, Rob Blake is going to try to do a uh, Bobby Orr move. So his offensive rating is 16. His breakout rating is 25. So that's 41. And then you would flip and you would check the 100 number at the top of the card to see if it falls within that. Um, if, uh, if it is within range... Uh, then you would just draw uh, another card and he carries it into the neutral zone. And then uh, you would just go from there. Um, so if it's within his, uh, if the, the 100 number is within his breakout rating, he finds a teammate for a rush transition. And if it's within his head man rating, um, he initiates a one man rush transition play. And uh, like I said, I talk about rush transitions in another video. Um, if that Bobby Orr, move, Bobby Orr move doesn't work um, and the number, the 100 number is odd, then it's a, a turnover and a rush transition for the other team. Uh, but if the uh, number is even, it's a turnover and the puck is in the neutral zone. Um, okay, so, um, yes, so the forecheck, uh, so that's the, uh, the, the uh, breakout uh, so breakout strategies. There's basically three main moves, and then there's the Bobby Orr move, which you could use. Okay, so so four check. Uh, I mentioned zone regroup already. Um, again, that's uh, the uh, the uh, team breaking out is automatically in the neutral zone, and then becomes a neutral zone red scenario where it's going to be a, a one on one matchup between two players. And um, okay, the, another example here is uh, four check. That's the most common one. So if you get four check. Um, you look at uh, the player again, the f the, uh, the four checker, and that's the right wing. So say it's uh, Buffalo, it's Satan is the right wing. And you're going to be looking at his uh, FCD rating here, which is uh, stands for defensive four check rating. And this is a number out of 20. So you flip the card and you um, check uh, the, the uh, blue number and it's outside of his range. So he, uh, so that means that the uh, break, the breakout team moves to the neutral zone. If he did, um, if he did, uh, if the number was within his um, defensive forecheck rating, uh, that means um, that means uh, it's a, it's a loose puck in the in the neutral zones or not in the neutral zone in the defensive zone of the team trying to break out. Uh, so that the breakout has failed. Um, another. Um, scenario you can have with forecheck is uh, pressure and again that's the same thing where, where you would um, look at um, in this case we have the center and you would look at his uh, his uh, defensive forecheck rating and if the number is within his forecheck rating then that player gets the puck it's not a loose puck so pressure is uh, more of uh, more pressure than uh, I guess the normal forecheck uh, situation Okay, so uh, if any of these plays fail, 
Uh, I'll just go through all the different things that can happen. Um, yeah, so, and the bad break section is, is always on the right hand side of the card. Okay, so um, bad break, zone play. Uh, zone play, that just means there's a loose puck in the defensive zone, and uh, you would um, draw a card and look at the uh, loose puck section in the zone play, which is covered in, in detail in another video. So that's zone play. Uh, another one is neutral zone, and that just means uh, there's a loose puck in the neutral zone. And uh, what you would do is you would draw another card, and you would look at uh, this, this part here. Um, <clears throat> you know, say either, see either V for visitor or H for home, and that would tell you which team has the puck. So in that case, the visiting team would uh, have, puck, have control of the puck in the neutral zone. Um, okay, turnover. Uh, turnover, uh, that just means the, the other team gets a rush transition play. Um, D, control. Um, the, that means the opposition has control in the neutral zone, so the, the team trying to break out has uh, given up the puck and the other team has uh, the puck in the neutral zone. Um, exposed player. Uh, that means um, uh, a player in this team, uh, I guess this player, uh, a player has been exposed for a hit in the neutral zone. Um, so what you would do is you would look at the... Uh, uh, sorry, I, I, I just have to look at the instructions here. <laughs> My little cheat sheets. Um, yeah, so you're going to do it, 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 you're also checking for a physical check. So you'd look at this hit section. It might say hit or it might say physical here. And you're looking at uh, a number, the number of two instead of using a red number up here. So you would look at the, um, I believe it's this position here that uh, is delivering the hit. So you would look, uh, say Colorado is breaking out and you get this um, exposed player. Uh, Stu Barnes, the center, would be the one trying to uh, administer the hit. You look at this this section here, the hit two. So you would look on Stu Barnes in his neutral zone section for his hit number. You wouldn't look in his defense. That's it. That's if he was in his defensive zone. So there's separate hit ratings. So in this case, Barnes um, uh, gets the puck, but he doesn't deliver a hit along with the play. Um, and um, okay. Okay, and then we have uh, another possibility, possibility on a bad breakout is a, a, a possible icing. Uh, so what you do is you, um, you would uh, look at the, uh, you would look at the uh, player here in the neutral zone section where it says left wing, and you would see, you would check his, um, his FCO rating, which is his offensive forecheck rating, six, and uh, check the blue number on the next card. And for the, in this case, the blue number is above his forecheck, offensive forecheck rating, so it would be an icing. If the number was within his offensive forecheck rating, um, then um, this team, the, the team breaking out, would have, it, I think it would be a loose puck. It would be a loose puck in the uh, Buffalo zone. So he would uh, uh, um, avoid the icing call. And then there's just simple icing, and automatic icing. Um, yeah, so that's um, that's the breakout uh, forecheck procedure um, in uh, ringside hockey. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.